never had to pay for any of them. Sounds fabulous, mm -hmm. right? Well, not quite. You're about to see why it could be the worst news you ever get. Mark Joel is here to tell you why, and it's a Fox 5 exclusive. Mark. Len, Rosanna, this one is pretty unbelievable. We're about to show you how getting six free cars could put you in the hole for six million dollars. <laughs> I was shocked. I was like outraged. I'm like, how could this happen to me? Tory Richardson's got a driver's license, but he says he's never owned a car. So imagine his surprise when cops came to the door telling him his car had been impounded. Two New York police officers came to my home and they was trying to give me fines telling me that I had my car parked in a certain area of New York City. What car? Well, that became painfully clear when these letters started showing up in Richardson's mailbox. Their titles to cars he says he knew nothing about. I started to get ownership titles coming into my name saying that I owned the uh, 89 Buick Regal or 87 Datsun. So now he's got six cars in his name and one major problem. Richardson says his driver's license had been stolen and he suspected identity thieves were busy working a scam. So he called the DMV to report the problem and he figured he had nothing to worry about until a lawsuit showed up. A six million dollar suit filed by people injured in a car accident. One of the cars involved supposedly owned by Tory Richardson. They said that uh, a car registered under my name uh, was involved in an accident and they injured three people severely and they're telling me that each of these people will sue me for two million dollars each. So we started looking into this six million dollar car accident. The police report says it happened here at the intersection of East Tremont Avenue and Cretona in the Bronx. Now the victims in this accident were all passengers in a cab. The cab hit by a car titled to Tory Richardson. Richardson was not in the car, but what about the people who were? The police report lists the driver as Cecilio Gomez. We tracked him down to this apartment building in the Bronx. Cecilio? Yes. Hey, I'm from Fox 5. In Spanish, Gomez admitted he had been involved in an accident, but the date, the location, the car involved, and who owned it, he claims he had no idea. And that does not clear anything up for Tory. This really big, big stress on my mind that someone could sue me for six million dollars and then these guys are still out there. After Fox 5 started looking into this case, the state DMV did its own review and found no ties between Tory Richardson and the cars titled in his name. And that includes the car that caused all the injuries in that six million dollar lawsuit. What a nightmare to say the least. Big time. Now what's the deal with Tory now? Well, he's getting some help now from his state assemblyman who is looking into all of this and trying to make sure that there are no further blemishes on any of his official records. I don't think he needs any more surprises. No. Mark, nice work. Thank you. All right, Rosanna. All right, thank you, guys. A Fox 5 investigation from last week gets dramatic results. You might remember this guy, Steve.